What's up everybody? It's the Spiritual Light Miss Pat passing through and I'm back at you with another video. Today I wanted to talk to you about a subject called unengendered. Now, disclaimer. This has absolutely nothing to do with sex or homosexuals. All right? I'm going to put that out there right now. So, understand this for these people who want to hear what they want to hear when I talk. <laughs> Please. Understand, this has nothing to do with homosexuality, all right? And if that's what you think this video is, you need to turn it off and then go somewhere and pray about your man. All right, all right. <laughs> Unagended, I was reading the Nag Hammadi this week and, and I wanted to talk to you guys about this subject. This is a subject that has gotten, unfortunately, handled absolutely incorrectly by the Gentiles and described and interpreted incorrectly by the Gentiles. They had our information and they just literally, I, I guess that's, this is the example of not knowing what the hell you're talking about and then you sit up here and fuck up the world based on this information. Now, the Gentiles described heaven as being a place full of angels that were homorphodites not female not male but both sexes that's not exactly true okay what it meant was is that in heaven there are female and male angels but the higher up angels are unengendered that does not mean they have both sexes. That means that they have not picked a sex. They are actually both in one. Do you understand? And that does not mean, oh, one has a vagina, one has a penis. No. It means that they have mastered being both female and male, and they know how to be able to balance the two energies together to be just as they are. Do you understand? Now I'm going to give you an example of this. There are some men who are very nurturing men. They know how to talk to kids better. They know how to talk to kids better than their mom. They know how to cook. They know how to do the baby girl's hair better than their mama know how to do the baby's girl hair, okay? There are some men that know how to slay a chick's hair better than she could ever slay her hair and do her makeup and make her look fabulous and this is a straight man he's not gay he don't want no parts of this lady that he's doing the makeup on or her hair he just knows how to make her look amazingly gorgeous okay met many stylists in my time and makeup artists that understand that these men are in touch with their feminine side okay they use it as a part of their ability to make money in this world. Does that mean that they're gay? No, it does not. Let's take that off the table, okay? Gay has nothing to do with this. This man knows what he's doing when it comes down to certain things that usually are in a female area. Same thing with nurses. Male nurses are men who know how to take care of a person and they're male, okay? They know how to heal a person and, and they just happen to be a male nurse. And yes, in our society, nurses are usually women, okay? But now they are male nurses, okay? Does that mean that he's gay? No, it does not. It means he's just himself and he knows how to heal a person and he happens to be a male. Same thing with women, okay? I take me, for instance. I am a female, yes. I'm a girly girl, yes, from time to time. I know how to change breaks, okay? I also know how to change oil, all right? Know how to change the tire. I know how to throw some drywall, okay? I can walk on a roof, all right? I also know how to handle very, very powerful weapons at a high level of accuracy, okay? And my best weapon that I am efficient at is a knife for up close and up close and personal combat, okay? That means I will cut your ass from asshole to appetite in about two seconds, if you fuck with me. Does that mean I'm a big old lesbian? No, it does not. 
it means that I have a part of my personality that is very much so aggressive, okay? Also in the world and where I do business at, I can be very aggressive just like men can. And guess what? I also know how to be able to take somebody that is a hard line no and use my feminine ability to talk as well as the aggressiveness of a male and change their minds into doing something that may work out better for me and my client, okay? Does that mean that I'm a big old lesbian? No, it does not, okay? It just means that there are certain parts of my personality that are, strangely enough, masculine. That just means it has nothing to do with who I am as a person as far as what my sexual preferences are. This is where the Gentiles screwed up in this particular information. Being unengendered means that you have mastered both sides of the feminine side and the masculine side in order to be one person. You're just you. And I have no problem with that. In fact, I prefer just being me. Okay? Instead of somebody saying, oh, there's war between the female and the male. That was done by Gentiles, okay? And they made that very prevalent inside of how they set up our books inside of the Bible. They've always made this fight between male and female, okay? And the female is the one who caused all the problems. Why the male is sitting up here, if it wasn't for that bitch over there, I would be okay. And not taking no responsibility for none of this stuff. Even though the most high made them take responsibility at the end of the day. But the way the Gentiles had the Bibles and stuff set up is that, you know, yeah, that woman, she sat up there and seduced King David. Well, if King David wasn't up on a roof, when he saw the woman naked the first time, he should have left the roof. Instead... He kept coming back being Mr. Creepola. Sitting up there. She back up there. Man, look at the groceries. <laughs> being a creep, okay? He was being a peep of time, all right? And eventually, you know how the story went. But the whole point is, is that that was on him. That was on him. He shouldn't have done that. As soon as he saw the woman up there naked, whoo, she naked. Let me go on downstairs somewhere and pray. Instead, you going to sit up here and talk about, <laughs> you understand? That's what happened there. And, it, and he should have took responsibility for that. All right? But man, men have their woes. And in this world, women are supposed to just go, oh, okay, he can't control his, you know, his, his, his little person, other person down there. You know what I'm saying? So we have to forgive him. No. That's what the Most High is basically saying in this. You have gotten control over how to handle that lustful side of yourself as a male and that lustful side of you as a female because there's some females that's out here that's just as lustful as me, okay? But when you become unengendered, you have literally learned how to control your urges and just become a person. That's it. One. And, and, and you don't have male nor female, Okay? You come out of that. And that's what he was saying inside of Nag Hammadi, that at some point, you have to graduate from this eighth grade area of female and male and become one. You understand? One. And I think he talked to his, um, he talked to, uh, at one point when, and when uh, our brother Mosa was in the body, and I believe uh, Thomas, and uh, Peter asked him, why do you, love Mary so much because he would always be caught hugging and kissing Mary. And that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. I don't think y'all ready for that yet. But he said, he said, why do you kiss her so much? And he was like, he said, well, what I'll do is he says, I'll turn her into a male at some point. So you all can feel more comfortable with her. You understand? And it's like, how you going to do that? She already a chick because even back then they had issues with, women back then because she was the only female in the crew for a while okay and they had an issue her they wanted to get rid of her you understand and he like no 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 
But he had other reasons why he didn't want to get rid of her. I can't go into that because it's such a great story. But I don't think a lot of people would be able to handle that realness of this story, of that particular story. But at the end of the day, like he said, he can't wait till when you come to heaven and, and then she is, you know, he she could take off the um take off the garment of being a woman and put and turn on and be a man male so you all can shut up. But the reality is, is that up there, the higher up you are, the more you are just who you are as an individual, not male or female picking either or. Another person who understood this concept was Sammy Hazen. If you ever seen the goat of Mendes that they want to say is the picture of Sammy Hazen, you notice it has female breasts. He understood that. But just like everything else that comes down here on this earth from, from as above, so below, below down here gets completely misconstrued and goes to the extreme. Here we have people in this world who actually are born with more feminine tendencies than male tendencies. And they happen to be in a male body. Now, I'm not talking about people who've been messed with as a child and then they ended up turning into an alternative lifestyle. I'm talking about those ones that we grew up with and you all know who they are. I had a cousin. Every time we play, you know, superheroes, everybody like, I'm Batman. I'm going to be this person. I'm going to be Spider, this and this and the Spider-Man. And then I got that one cousin that's like, I'm Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was a boy. You want to say he knew how to jump double dutch better than us. That was him, okay? But he was born that way, all right? I remember this song that they used to play in the club by Sylvester. I was born this way, you understand? Um, but the reality is, is that is a very true thing. And because there was no one here to explain to them as they're growing up what that is and have them understand the concept of being ungendered. See, these people are being born here ungendered to a certain extent, but they are in the wrong body. So they got more female tendencies than they do male tendencies. And then we throw them to the side and say, is something wrong with you? Actually, it's nothing wrong with them. It's just that they are more closer to heaven than we realize, strangely enough. And this has nothing to do with sex. We're talking about it in a way that they think because they're more themselves than most of us are. We're trying to find ourselves in this female and male gender world whereas this person is a blend of the two and it gets and and our society makes it go way to the extreme instead of them having a place and a person or people that they can talk to that can help them get past this strange blurry area that they're in because they're more close to it than the average person that that graduating point but they have not been able to control the urges of the female or the male inside of them. So they are attracted to the same sex. And that's like, then you don't do that. You understand? Because people are not going to understand. Do you get what I'm saying? When you are unengendered, you have already gotten to the point where you understand the attraction. The sexual part is not a part of this. I am not female. I am not male. I am just me. And those things, those carnal things about me, as far as attraction, sexual, um, sexual likes and things like that, the, the carnal mind, those things are no longer things I deal with, okay? That's when you become unengendered. And it takes an unengendered person to talk to a person who came here with that, 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 that strange blend to be able to get them to understand what they're feeling and how to deal with that. You understand once because they have mastered the male and the female parts of them. You didn't have that. So now you have a whole society of people who people treat as throwaways instead of individuals that need to be canceled, canceled a little bit more to understand those feelings in which they hold and how to be able to handle those feelings. Instead, you got people you know, changing their bodies to be able to feel how they want to feel. You understand? And, and, and that's just going way to the left. You understand? Because of the way our society is that Christianity has done this way. 
These people don't understand and have no place. So what I was speaking to you guys about is understanding that unengendered literally means you have mastered the carnal mind of being attracted to male or female. You can be around a person and not see and not want them sexually in any kind of way. All you are is just you. And that's how our angels are. Okay, they're not homorphodites with both sexes. They've got a penis and a vagina and all of that. No, no, they're not. They are literally beings who have mastered female and male carnality. That's it. That's all. Okay. <sighs> I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible because when you get carnal minded individuals into high knowledge topics, they can't handle it here because it's like, so you mean to tell me that I can be both? Yes, you can be. If you can learn how to control your sexual urges, yes, you can be. You can literally be both male and female walking in the same body. Many of us already are. And once you graduate from that carnal mind, yes, you can just be you. And I have a problem being me. I like being me. I like the part about me that it is aggressive. I like the part of me that is also feminine. Okay? I There are some men out here who are not the kind of guys that, are fem, you know what I'm saying, are, are masculine. They love us, not fight us, honey. You know what I'm saying? And there's some women that'll beat the brakes off a man. Okay. <laughs> they will beat the brakes off a man standing flat footed. All right. I done seen it. And it's, it's quite, it's quite scary to watch it actually and disturbing. But that doesn't change the fact that she may completely be a heterosexual. She likes men, but she will beat her man's ass. Literally. You understand? And there's guys that's like, hey, baby, I love to love a woman, but honey, I am not going out here trying to get my ass blacked or fucked up for anybody about you, okay? <laughs> I mean, I've had situations where, you know what I'm saying, I've been there ready to fight, and the man sitting over here talking about, girl, I'm in a car. <laughs> that, that ain't they thing, you understand? And there's nothing wrong with that. You understand? And then there's situations where you run into people who are carnal minded. Me personally, I have had a situation where I, I this man, I we went out a couple of times, 30 minute date, two 30 minute dates. One was for ice cream, one was for tea. This man calls up and I was on my way to get ready to go somewhere, but I still had a little bit of time. And he calls, he goes, oh, I'm in your neighborhood. Let me pull up. Let me, let me go see you. How you doing? You know, see what's going on with you. And I'm like, uh, okay, number one, I don't like pull-ups. And number two, I am on my way out. But I'm like, I'm going to be nice. He seems like a pretty nice person. Now, this guy, I am not in the walk at this time. This guy is, you know, he's supposed to be a priest for the fire department. I'm like, fucking around with Pat, he going to go to hell. So I automatically know, me and church people, I'll just be a friend. This is me going in. Because every time I got in this man's car, he was playing church music. I am not the first lady type chick at all and never will be. So this dude was literally going to be friend zone regardless. Plus, he wasn't my type. Okay? But I'm just the type of person I like to be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nice person. And he seemed like he had good sense. If you got good sense, I'll have a conversation with you. Go out with you for, you know, a little bit of tea or something. But this guy comes over. And he's like, oh, wow, you know, I had such a bad day. I'm like, really, what's going on? He's like, my back is killing me. Oh, I, 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 I like, can I lay down? And I'm sitting up here like, I actually am getting ready to go somewhere, but I do have, a, a you know, a, a, um, and one of those adhesive heating pad things. You can put a little Bengay on there, put down in the back. I give you a couple of Tylenol. You should be good. You know what I'm saying? He was like at about 15 minutes, and he was like, Okay, I'll take it. So I go in the back, go get this. I come back inside the front. This dude is standing here butt-ass naked. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? What are you doing? Don't you like what you see? No, I do not. What the fuck? You standing here looking like a big-ass damn beach whale. What the fuck? 
Man, put your clothes on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, what you gonna do with this? Absolutely nothing. Get your clothes and get the hell out of my house. Please. Put your clothes on. Get up and leave. That is, it is not like, yeah, I don't understand what's wrong with you. No, what is wrong with you? What, 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 what? Put your clothes on, first of all. I don't know what possessed you to think that some pulling your ass out of my house was going to be cool. But I need you to go. Wait a minute, babe. I said I bought that 38 out. This is NC. Who the fuck is NC? NC is called a nigga corrector. Get your ass the fuck up out my house. <laughs> you got to shoot me out of my house. I need that. You and he don't. Now, and how let me down the hallway. You not being Christ-like. How am I being Christ? What does Christ got to do with you in my house being a fucking reverend creep? I don't understand no shit like that. I'm like, where did these people come from, honey? And Vincent's with Pat. That's all I got to say. It was terrible. This is terrible. Carnal minded. Carnal minded. You can't be around nobody. And be a decent person. And then you're going to tell me I ain't being Christ-like. Or lady-like. What, what lady would deal with something like that? Okay, well, I, I don't know what lady what lady you know would be cool with somebody telling you they back hurting. And you bring them some being gay and a bandage and some damn Tylenol. And, then, and you come back and they ass out naked. That was not sexy to me. On no day of the week. I don't care if he was sitting up here looking like Denzel back in the day from Mo' Better Blues time. No. That's some weird shit. And because I am more masculine in a lot of ways and more aggressive than most women, yeah, that may have scared. that Another woman would have been scared and, and went into fright mode. Whereas me, no, I'm going to shoot your ass. You, you act crazy up in here. You're going to fuck around and get hurt up in this motherfucker. For real, for real. Okay? <laughs> just go. You understand? But that's that's just my personality of my aggressiveness. Not all women are like that. You understand? So a lot of people will sit up there like, if I date her, her ass might shoot me. No, I'm not going to shoot you just with something like that. When it comes down to somebody being weird and being weird in my house that I've never met like that or know like that, doing some shit like that, then yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might get shot fucking around with that. You know what I'm saying? But our society has made it where a lot of people get messed up due to this thing called male and female type relationships, okay? Women are supposed to be this way and men are supposed to be this way. There's some men who have an attitude because you're a female speaking to them. They feel like you should, you're a female, you shouldn't have nothing to say to me. You understand? And it's like, oh, okay, well, if your ass get beat the fuck up when you go down that street, don't say I didn't try to tell you. Then you come back, let me, I shouldn't listen to you. Exactly. But you didn't want to listen to me because I was a female. And then there's some women who don't want to listen to men because they are men and they're like, y'all always trying to tell the woman what to do. Well, sometimes you might not listen. You understand? I don't have a problem between male and female type relationships. What I have a problem with is with chauvinist pigs that feel like Yo, a woman's place is here and a man's place is here and that's their level of understanding and they can't get past that. That's where I have a problem with because everybody brings something to the table. You know, there's places where women should be and there's places where men should be. Very true. You understand? But I also know there's some men that do things really good as men in situations. There's some really, I'm sorry for this conversation to go there, but there's some really good ob male doctors. Whereas I met ob doctors that's females that are rough as hell. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You understand what I'm saying? Whereas there's men that are very gentle I had a beautiful man who delivered my daughter. You understand what I'm saying? Did an excellent job. And then there's women who are rough as hell. And I'm sorry, I prefer male doctors at times, okay? And a lot of women, and then some women prefer to have a female doctor. It all depends on what your, what your whole thing is. But some people do the job a little bit differently than others. You understand? So I guess what Mosa was trying to do is, is try to help us graduate to 
another level of understanding and that's where you're supposed to go as your walk progresses that you will not be a male and a female in this that you will literally graduate from your carnal attractions in both of those areas of female and male and become a person that is fully in control of their desires and their attractions and things that of that nature and just become you okay and that's what the higher up angels higher up our archy of angels are okay so i hope that makes a little sense to you guys and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for hanging out with me today bye bye